jump into it. Okay, very, very excited. So this is the coaster that I built in part five, which is the video right before this. And I am obsessed with it. I freaking love it. So what I want to focus on first, I want to build the entrance building for this ride. Uh, the plan is not to do an actual building, but to do more of a... Um, What's it called? Like an awning, kind of over it. It's it's, it's gonna, gonna be fun. I just need to figure out what materials we want to do. I am actually gonna close the park, um, and see if that helps us with anything. Wait, did I close the park? Yeah, I did. Okay. So that will do for that. Um, let's see here. In the park entrance. Which one is that? There we go. Is that this one right here? It's just a Memento 12. Where is just a memento 13? Hello, welcome to the stream. Appreciate you stopping by. All right, let me see here. So we're gonna build a little entrance area to this amazing ride that I built. And then after that, we can ride it. Um, it should be, we should be able to finish it because it's not going to be that big of a project. I don't know what I want to use for it though. Let's see. We haven't worked with concrete. What does fiberglass look like? No. That's cool. I'm thinking metal, but I want to do stuff like this. We'll try that. Um, let's see here. Okay. And I'm assuming we can change the color. Is that right? Yes, we can. So let's place this um, and change the color real quick. And then all of them are going to be that color, hopefully. Um, with this ride, maybe we'll do like a yellow. Or a blue. I don't know. We'll go with blue. Right. Change the grid size. Okay. I closed the park. Um, a lot of people haven't left yet. I don't know why. Ooh, yeah. And I need to get snow back because um, I built a volcano. And it kind of messed with our. Why is this being weird? Why won't it let me move this? It's so weird. Okay. This 
gonna be its own building. There we go. Let's see here. This should be good right there. Okay. I don't know if this is the right thing to do. How is this gonna look? That's about right. Um, and I'm going to need to wait. Let me just duplicate it. Duplicate. That would probably go above this other one here. I don't know, is that right? No. You're supposed to be a part of the other one. I don't really know. I'm trying, trying to build, build like an awning, awning thing. Let me see. Let's, Let's do, do the, the back, back actually first. We'll move it back here. And then from here, we will kind of be able to see what it should look like. Hopefully. That, that, and that. And then we can just do three at a time. Yes. I'm going to have to rotate it a little bit. Let me just select one now. And this should be good. Let's do... Select all of them. and then we'll rotate it so that it will line up perfectly with our roller coaster. Move, okay. Wish this would go away. And can we do an angle snap? Why can't I rotate it? I have an idea actually. I'm gonna rotate one of them first. Aligned. No. We did an advanced move. Rotate. I'll stop this. About right there. Yeah, that looks pretty good. We'll move you to right there. Okay. And then this right here. Oops. Okay. Hold on. I struggle. <laughs> you, you, wait, 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 wait. wait. Yes. Yeah, 
so let's select that. Select all of this, and then I'm going to remove it from the building so that it can all be moved to one spot. Should Gotta have it perfect. I am a perfectionist. Sometimes. <laughs> Not all the time. Okay. That looks like it's lined up. That's great. And then we'll have to stack it a couple times. Let's see. Shift U, U, U. Sometimes it lets us stack things when we do it like this. Sometimes it doesn't. Hopefully this is one of the times that it does. Yes. We will go for about maybe three high. How does that look? Yeah. That's about right. And then Now we're going to have to do a roof. Metal. What do you look like? I kind of like that better. Straight one. Why are you being weird? Right there. Let's see. There we go. There you go. I like this. And then we're going to have to figure out what color will work best. Maybe even leave it how it is. Alright. And then we can do like another curved one going the other way. hate it at all. I like it a lot. This is probably my favorite ride that I've built so far. Gave me the less pain <laughs> out of all of them. There's different qualities uh, from all of the rides that I've built that I like, but overall this is definitely my favorite one. That is so nice. Alright. What can we do? Hold on. I'm on here. Can you hear me? Go. Go. Okay. Alright. Got my new guy right there.
was I gonna do? Oh yeah. I wanna see what would happen or how this would look. So I can put it through the building here, which is good. I need to figure out, let's line it up a little bit with that. Control, that might work right there. I don't know. I wish the grid was smaller. So I can actually place it where it needs to go. Another one of these, would it go where it needs to go? We'll bring this out like this, right there. And then, let's see what happens if we do this. Well, let's see what happens if I just stack it. Raise you up. So these are going to be like supports. Okay, that, that looks, looks good. good. I need to leave this. And then we'll put a couple up. I'll have to figure out the right interval for this. This looks so good. I really like this. Duplicate that. I'll do the same thing over here. good there or maybe we don't need an interval maybe we can just do this have one on each side of the entry and exit like that that looks pretty good okay I like it a lot I think that is Pretty much a finish on this roller coaster. This is probably the first one that I've actually finished the roller coaster and the building. Let's ride it. I love riding this thing. It's so beautiful. Okay, where are we at? Oh, it's starting. I'm thinking of changing it to where it's two carts, which will shorten the cart that's uh, there right now. It'll probably end up being like two uh, carts, well, two trains of four carts. I called it three high because it goes up, um, does its thing, and then it goes up again. Does like a, it's called a non-inverted loop. 
because it technically doesn't go upside down. Um, comes around, and then, yeah, this is where it gets complicated. The loop, follow that, and then it goes up again one more time, kind of like a really small though. And then it goes this way, and there's a little corkscrew. So it goes upside down a couple times. I really like it. But yeah. Let me try to get my snow back, because this was supposed to be like a snowy mountain. And the reason the snow ended up disappearing was because I built this volcano, which is going to have a wooden coaster on it. It's going to be like a coal miner themed ride. But yeah, so I built this. It's really great. I don't know how um, I'm going to have that ride start. We'll probably work on that next. Let's see. So let's get our snow back. I don't think there is a way to do it from here. Okay, save park. We'll save that and then we will exit real quick. I just gotta remember all of the terrains that I want to keep. I think it's because it reset. Reset us. Okay, so we want to keep this grass. We want to keep that rock. What we don't need. Okay. I don't think we need this. I'll keep these three grasses. Let's swap this right here. Um, let's see, Tropical, I think, was one of the ones. What is this? Tropical Rock. Maybe Deciduous? It's not studios. I don't think it's desert. Maybe alpine. I, ooh, that's really nice. So I'm trying to find uh, what I used for the volcano. It may have been the tropical rock. I like that alpine. Let's go with this. And then for this one. We would go with the Arctic. I need ice. Here's Arctic snow. Snow and ice and snow. Okay. Arctic rock. That's really cool. Okay. Either way, I know I'm going to have to redo that mountain. So I'll probably have to do the volcano over again like coloring it and stuff. Let's go with snow. And then here we're gonna go with snow and ice. And then I'll swap this dry grass with this alpine rock. And that's it. There we go. And then we'll go back into the park. Did we get some of our snow back? I'm so lost. So it looks like some of our snow came back. Let's repaint this. 
for, for now. now, and then um, so snow. So, so I'll, I'll do. I, I usually do just do snow, snow down, down here, and, and then, then I like to incorporate the ice once it gets more up here on top of the mountains. So let's start. I'll do. Repaint this all grass for now. I need, I need that, that dark, dark stuff to go away. Okay. Now, now we'll do snow. So it looks good. Pretty good section there. I don't want it to be like a square or anything. And then eventually I'll incorporate like a very, very light touch of grass. I'm going to do grass up here for now. I'll cover this in grass because I want the grass to show you just the. I want the grass to show through a very tiny bit because the snow fell on the grass, you know? We'll probably incorporate a little bit of rock somewhere. Let's get this rock, we'll do very light. Some of this stuff. I think this mountain looks great. Um, I really don't know though <laughs> what other people think. To me it looks good. Um, but yeah, okay. So we'll go in with the snow and ice. I'll make this smaller. Be covered. Let's do a little bit lighter. This is so cool. And then as it gets closer to the ground, it'll kind of transition into just snow. Who knows, maybe this will look better than it did before. All right, that's it for that one. That looks pretty good. Okay, now snow. Go in with some snow. Oh my gosh.
have to take those trees out. That looks pretty good. All right, and then we'll go back in with some of the grass so we can kind of smooth some things out. I don't want it to look too saturated with the snow. I want it to look as natural as possible, especially over here where it kind of cuts off. And if you're wondering what this is, I, when I first, like literally first opened the park, uh, it was hard for me to get an idea of where the edges were. So I went around and found the fence and just kind of put those guidelines there. up a little bit. Also, I might have to play with the terrain a little bit and lift some of the ground because I was just thinking it doesn't really make sense that there's these here and nothing anywhere else. So we'll have to do that. I'll probably make like a little mountain line kind of across between this snowy mountain and the volcano. We can do that right now, actually, if we want. Let's do that. sculpting and we will go we're gonna go up yeah up forward am i pulling it doesn't feel like it intensity yeah we are okay so we'll have to recolor all of that size a little bit bigger. Right. I don't want to get too close to the volcano. I don't want to mess up all that work that I did. <laughs> That's good, and then we will um, give it a little mountain tip. What I want 
Am I going too high? Yeah, I am. Okay, I'll shorten this in a minute. good kind of push this down a little bit here Pull. a little bit on the sides chisel that back down a little bit I really like where this mountain is going figure out have to we'll figure out how we're going to kind of make the little connections between them a little bit smaller. This is looking pretty good. I like this. Let's give this one a little bit of a... More of a tip. Or a point. Like that. Okay. might be able to do like a little bit of a, not a lake, but like a, a shumpton. Ooh, I have an idea. Okay, so I'm gonna make a little bit of a lake here. And then there's this really famous, you see this picture all the time of this little thing that comes out of a cliff. Let's, I wanna, let's try to recreate that. Like that. Almost. and then I can go in and kind of fix this because it's not looking too great. <laughs> I want you to be a little bit higher. All right. Now we can push, make this a little bit less intense. Push on that. Definitely push 
stack on that. Let's fill this with water and see what all I need to do. Do that okay? This might be too intense. I want to chisel it a little bit. I don't want it to look wonky or anything. Smooth it out. Some of this is gonna need to need to be painted. Like we'll do maybe not so intense. Do some ice. And then we'll do some snow. A lot less intense. I wanted to, to kind of transition. <laughs> that looks really good. I like that a lot. Okay, so that's really good. I like that. Um, let's go ahead and delete those trees right here. Can I delete it? Yes, I can. These right here could look a little bit better. Let's see what we can do about it. Let's try to chisel it. some trees to add a little bit of a pizzazz. All right. And then we're gonna need to come in and paint this. So Let's go ahead and repaint our volcano. Let's see what this looks like. Okay. So, we'll do this. We'll go ahead and do... What do you look like? I like this a lot better. We'll do this. This might be what we had before, so we'll do this. Alright. Just like the color of it. Hey, Arlipa, how you doing? We are making some landscape for our park, specifically the back. I made this volcano in my last video, and I also um, just now re 
did this. But like when I was trying to do the volcano, the snow disappeared because I brought in so many drains. Uh, and I didn't realize I didn't bring the snow with it. So I'm just doing that. But I realized that it didn't make sense to just have this mountain and this volcano. And those are like the only things here. So I'm working on some landscaping so we can make more sense of it. Definitely gonna add some trees. This is kind of like a recreation of that like, I don't know where it's at. It's some other country somewhere. I'm sure you can uh, imagine where that's from. But I really like that. Uh, we'll probably make that into rock. So let's do that real quick. The real one from like that famous place, it's on the ocean. But yeah, we're working on this volcano. I'm repainting it a little bit since it was unpainted for some reason. But I'm just laying down some grass and then I'll make a smooth transition of the grass into um, the more volcano looking texture. Alright, we'll do some of this rock. That's a little too light. Do some of this. It's a little too intense. This is what we're using for our volcano. So then we'll take that and lay it over just a little bit so that all those grassy colors and rock still pop through. Alright, and I think I want to start working on the uh, right that's going to be going um oh <laughs> among us yeah I'll let you know uh if I have any time we can play it after this yes Lazan I don't know if that's how you like that to be pronounced appreciate the follow uh you are the first person to use the sound alerts other than me so thank you appreciate it i really like them anyway but yeah i'll let you know if we're going to be playing among us all right but if you want we can work on the roller coaster for this volcano this amazing ride i built in the last video i really really love it um I did a lot more of a simple building for it, for the entrance, because everything else I did super, well, for me, they're super in-depth <laughs> buildings. And look how far we got on the roof for this building. We did one little panel. I'm not sure why. And I did some kind of accent thing here. But yeah. Let's ride this. I'm super proud of it. We'll wait for it to... Let's... I started this ride here because I wanted one of those um, more like tangled looking rides. Oh yeah, you're gonna love it. They are making this for console. I thought it was supposed to release this year. Um, but I'm not sure, maybe it got delayed. I have no idea. You're gonna love it though. I watched them do, like the actual developers, I watched them do a stream where they were kind of explaining everything and playing 
it on, I think, the Xbox they were playing it on. It's, oh, it's coming out this month. Cool. Yeah, you're going to love it. I appreciate the follow. We can probably, you can, we can probably get some ideas from each other. Yeah, uh, our level said if you like meticulous design, then you're going to love it. Um, even if you don't particularly like that, you can still make some pretty good things. I remember growing up when I would play Roller Coaster Tycoon. I didn't know you could do some in-depth builds on there. Uh, and I really enjoyed playing it. I usually just built the stuff that they already had there on the game. It was really fun for me. But they have a lot of really nice pre-built everything really like buildings rides and stuff that you can build there's the center of the park i'll have to do a video soon um, where i do more landscaping and stuff that'll probably be the next one because i'm kind of like slacking a little bit on that It took me 20 minutes to build this ride. Very, very happy with it. Oh yeah, I love The Office, so I had to put that sound alert on there. <laughs> and they're all free right now. When I get affiliated, I'm going to uh, make sure that a lot of them are still free, because I think they're really fun to use. But some of them will worth a couple bits. Okay, so let's work on the ride for this. It's going to be like a coal mining theme. So we'll probably have to build like a cave or something. I have a little bit of echo. I'm sorry about that. Yeah. Maybe I'm too close to uh, the microphone. That's probably what it is. All right. So I'm thinking... Um, like, like for the entrance of this ride, ride we'll have it. Oh, oh cool. You're, You're doing, doing a workshop, workshop only park? park? Uh, there's this streamer that I watch. She's, She's amazing. Um, uh, her name is The Lethal, Lethal Scrub, Scrub, and she built this ride that's based off of the Hulk ride in Disney World in Florida. Well, it's in Universal Studios. I'm, that's going to be a ride that I probably put in this park. I'm not sure where. It's a little bit big. We'll probably put it somewhere over here where we still have a lot of space wow. to work with. <laughs> and yes, so wooden coaster. Let's see. Actually, let's do what I normally do. Let's build, really quick, a pre-built one that I'm going to delete, obviously, uh, just to get a little bit of inspiration. So, Mouse Maze, Surf Adventure, The High Seas, Tornado, Wood Falls. How big is this? Oh, jeez. Oh, okay. Let's rotate it. This is really cool. So we will build this real quick. This will probably be the type that we use for the mining one. This looks really cool. Okay. We'll test it and then let's ride. Also, if you want to, can I connect other coasters together for one big one? Uh, I'm not sure what you mean. But like, if I start building my own, I can connect it to this one, as long as they're like the same type.
thinking I'm trying to think I think I want to I don't know so I want the part where the ride comes up to the volcano to be almost like a little finale so we'll have to figure out what we're gonna do I think I'm gonna end up lowering the ground just a little bit in this area uh, let's see, not too intense, not enough to get things done. <laughs> uh, let's see, we'll put it right here. Let's make that a little bit more intense. I'm only lowering this uh, because I plan on making like a little cave entrance. So it could probably be like a cave and then they exit out of the cave. I have a great idea for that. Okay. Let's see what we can do with that. Coasters. This one. Oh, my bad. That's not what we want to do. Uh, what coasters? Which one was it? I think it was this one. Sled. We're gonna have to make that a little bit bigger. This has motion features if you swipe your hand next to your left ear cup to activate. I have no idea what you mean. <laughs> Let me place this. I want to see what the cart looks like. Or if I can change the cart, that'd be pretty cool. Ooh, a plane. Okay. <laughs> Got it! <laughs> Let's see. Customize. Where is it? There's a spot where you can change. I don't think we can. So this is not going to be the ride for us. But while we're here, let's add that. <laughs> okay, we need to make this bigger. Coasters. Let's do this one. This one looks like it's going to be the right track that we need. But is that going to be entering? No, it's not. Okay. So we'll have to change where that goes. We'll start here. Station. And I want them to enter on the right. So like that. 
All right. So, so the plan for now, uh, this is going to be in a tunnel, like I said. The people are going to walk to enter, and they're going to see like a cave entrance type thing, and they're going to walk in there. Oh. <laughs> You're just kidding. <laughs> And then after, after they, they enter the cave, they're going to come in and get on the ride. And then the ride is going to shoot them out, and it's going to come out of a opening. So let's see here if that will work. Drive tires. We're going to need drive tires. Um, and then we'll need, like, a chain lift or something. And we'll go up. Hopefully that's not too steep. I like to start the test. And then this is gonna be fun. Ooh, I think I have an idea. Do this. Kinda come down a little bit. Shorten that up. Let's see here. Um, you can't disconnect the track and have it free fall back on the track or whatever. Yeah, because after, uh, like our lip is saying, if after one little part of it leaves the track, it kind of just stops. Uh, no one will be able to get on the ride, but what you can do is you can have it in testing mode and you can, like say there was a path here with people walking, uh, the cart would hit them and probably kill them. But no one would be on the ride, there would just be people walking. So I need to keep in mind um, how steep this is. Because we don't want them to, what's it called? The G-Force. We don't want the G-Force to be all crazy and stuff. <laughs> we'll have them come up. this longer oof never mind make that longer g-force has been like my biggest problem when trying to make rides For this, we'll have them go up and kind of curve. Help them to curve around this. Hopefully they have enough speed. There they are now. They're probably not going to. Yeah, they're not going to. Okay. So what we will do... Well, I have a better idea. We will come up, straighten, stop doing that. Is that a bad idea? Hard to tell. <laughs> we'll come up like that. Uh, maybe try to go back down a little bit. And then um, I'll have them go on a chain lift up and around. Up, up, shorten it a little bit, and then regular track. We'll turn and go down. Oh yeah, wait, I gotta make that longer. Oh, you know what? I 
Tyler's got a better idea. <laughs> Instead of doing this and going this way, I think we'll just start going towards the uh, volcano and we'll kind of make our way up it. start coming normal, go down, go back up, there you go, turn a little bit, and then maybe have a chain lift over here, mm, okay, we could probably do a hole, there is, oh here it is, auto tunnel, do this, kind of come up and then we kind of need to if you ever like uh, think about how like in real life with coasters and stuff I was always wondering why they have the ride go up the hill and then after it goes up the hill it does this little downward thing and then kind of comes back up. And I think it's usually, like if there's a longer cart, it's so that the whole cart can get up the hill first before going down without losing any speed. In strategy games, I, I think I'm okay at them. I wouldn't say I'm bad at them. It depends on what game you're talking about. Because some strategy games, uh, uh, not only do you have to be good at the strategy part, but you have to be good at, like, the different dynamics of the game. Like, this game, you could be good at, like, knowing what goes into actually building roller coasters. Um, but if you don't know how to use technology, really, you're probably not going to be that good at playing the game. plan now is to go down underground and we'll probably start making our way up I'm gonna need to ride this a little bit because I need to see what that looks like inside there. Oh yeah, and I'm gonna need to put some lights. Oops. So if I do, there we go, okay. I don't really want it to do anything to my tunnel. So this is what we're going to do, and we're probably going to appreciate the follow, thank you, M. Finog. How about games where you can pause the game and stuff, like Civilization 6 or something? Uh, I've never played that, but I, I would compare that game to City Skylines maybe? 
I play City Side. Uh, with the, uh, I'm terrible at talking. I play uh, City Skylines, and I am okay at that game. I haven't played it very much, so I'm not great at it, but. Hello? If it's historical or not, if you know your history, then it would make it a little easier. Yeah. Let's ride this and see what it, how it looks. I want to ride from here. Riding like towards the end of the coaster, a uh, uh, coaster train. Drive now, your coaster, please. What is drive now? Are you talking about like riding in the front? I like to ride right here so I can see um, how smooth the ride is while I'm building it at least. Okay. This is really cool. So you're riding, you're like, oh my god, what is that? <laughs> it's the volcano, oh my god, are we gonna go up that thing? see what it looks like on the inside there. Okay. That's honestly, I like it. I like it a lot. We will turn now. And we have a lot of speed, so that's good. Turn and I want to start making our way up the volcano. Let's see here. Go up. And then this is the top of the volcano. Nothing crazy. Are we still tilted? My bad. I don't want to. There will be tilted and then we'll straighten back up. Alright. And then we might need to get one of these here. Oh, can we do that? Okay. Let's come here and we'll go up. Hopefully that doesn't take away from the view. Shorten that up a little bit. Go down. Go to normal. Okay. Alright. Sweet. Okay. One problem that I've had in the past um, is like they're going really fast when they get to the chain lift and it kind of like jerks them really hard. It's really bad. So I've tried to fix that. We're going to. No, that's bad. Okay. We need to go down but not crazy yet. We'll go down, and then we'll come back up. And this is, hopefully they have enough speed, they will make their way towards the volcano. the 
this a lot longer. Maybe go up a little bit. And turn. And I think what's going to happen is they're going to get really close and probably feel like they're going to fall in. Shorten it a little bit right here. Go down a little bit. Let's, Let's see what that looks up. like. Where are they at? They're right there. Okay. Okay. The most important thing to me, at least for now, is the smooth. How smooth is it, you know? So far, it's really smooth, so. <laughs> I'm not sure what color we're gonna end up making this. The cart's probably gonna be black. Ready. Hey, amazing Jake. Uh, so what's wrong with the chain lift? What do you think? Tell me what you're thinking. We might be able to fix it. Is, is it, it too, too high? high? I, I just needed a way to get them to come up to um, the, the side of the volcano. Of the volcano. <laughs> I, I might need, I could probably turn it a little bit more like this way. way. We'll have to see, I don't know. I don't know if they were turned enough. Let me see here. I think it'd be like... In that volcano. And then this is where they can probably start going back down. Oh, oh, how high is it? Is it? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Let me check. I'm not sure how to see that exactly. I think you could turn it on in settings. Let's see. Results. Duration. Even though the chain lift is kind of high, um, they're not going that fast right here yet. I'm going to have, have them drop down, down and maybe spin around this way a little bit and like slowly work their way. Yeah, you're right. Uh, not too fast or the guests won't go on it. I am trying to make sure they're not going too fast. I think we're good for now. Other than right here. Let me. 
do need to their speed is really slow right here let's see if I can fix that hopefully that fixed it Just move that out. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna make sure that we don't drop too much so that we can um, manage our speed. Also, I have to make sure that they're not abruptly changing angles. So let's make this, not that I really like that. I'll shorten it. Do that. Come up and go that way. Maybe do like a little bit of an up and turn. Oh, wait. this and then we will spin the other way I need to shorten that a little bit go down slightly um, and then turn you could put trims yeah or lower the volcano. I do not want to lower the volcano. That's the only thing I am not wanting to do. Um, let's see. I think this is going too low. Let's see how fast that is. We will put shrimps here. Okay. That seemed a little bit fast. We'll, we'll put shrimps here. Shrimps. And then um, this is where we're going to go down and kind of make our way back to the entrance. But now it's fine here. Okay. All right, and then don't want to slow down too much. Kind of go down. Hard part's gonna be, um, what's it called? Putting lights under here. Straight. Probably need some trim brakes again. List of GCI coasters like the one you're making. Okay. Can't 
to that. Oops, wait. Wait. Why is it failing? again. Okay. And then we can put some trim brakes and stuff. Wait. Yeah. We'll need some here. Trim brakes. That's not too bad. You can also look up coaster enthusiast channels to help. Yes, I will do that. I watch a few people on Twitch that um, make rides. I need to do the test and see which areas need to be fixed. <laughs> which I'm sure we're all, we all know which areas need to be fixed. <clears throat> Let's, okay. Let's check, um, we'll do speed first and see where, if there's any issues. This is right here, this section where we start making these spins, that's probably going to be really bad. Okay. Wow, that's really fast. So, so how, how fast, fast is, is too fast? fast? Do you know? Okay, okay that's, that's not too bad, bad right there. there. Okay. 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 Your, Your ride is too scary. scary. Guess I don't want to ride, ride it. it. Look at this stuff. There's, There's some stuff here. Okay. Have, have a look at the heat maps. Okay. G force. It's probably G force. Fear. Let's see. If it gets, gets close, close to 10, 10 that's where it's bad. Channel 5 Gaming? Is, is that on Twitch? Twitch? Or where's where that at? Oof. Oof. We're going to need to change that really bad. Yeah. Yes. Okay, okay, let's change it. We'll start. Let's look at it. Actually, okay. Let's edit and then we'll check the G Force YouTube. Okay. Yeah, I'll check them out. Uh, I won't be able to do that today because after this stream, unfortunately, I have to go to work. I don't know. Maybe we can go the uh, just directly there. Oof. That was not good. We'll put some. Um, we'll go. Go straight now. And we'll put some brakes. And then after this, look at that. Oh my gosh. Um, we will make our way down. Okay. Let's put one more uh, set of the trim brakes. And then we'll make our way down. Yeah, look, look how, how bad, bad that is. is. <sighs> okay. 
the only thing I don't like is that the ride is kind of covering up the volcano. But uh, it's okay. Um, we'll come this way. That's not too bad. Let's go a little bit lower and then we'll... Shorten that. I don't want this angle to be too bad. Slow down. Okay. Speed isn't too bad. Let's check this G Force. Okay. It's all good there. That's good. This area is probably going to be an issue. Okay. Wasn't an issue. This area is definitely going to be an issue. Which sucks. Okay. That wasn't that bad. What about vertical? It might exceed vertical. That one gets a little bit higher. It says it exceeds somewhere, so no one is excited to ride this ride. Whoa. Whoa. That was really high right there. This is probably the area that's problematic, which sucks. I really like this. I'm going to have to figure out how to close that. Probably put some trim brakes here. Or going back down. I still want to go into the ground. Even just a little bit. be an issue. Terrain. Let's see. Oh, <laughs> that's kind of cool. that honestly it's kind of cool
close to that. It was vertical. I think I may have fixed it. I'm not sure. I'm gonna pause it after it goes through there. Okay. People are getting a little bit more excited to write it. We will have to bring this up a little more, which is fine. Right. I think instead of going down in this dip right here, we will just... No, it's still... That might be a lot better. Okay. It's pretty, pretty massive, massive ride, ride, honestly. Not, Not my favorite, favorite ride, ride, but it's okay. The, the concept, concept was there. there. Or at least <laughs> the concept's in my head still. <laughs> Smooth the track, track. Yeah. yeah. Smooth the track. The, the issue, issue though is it won't help fix my g-force issue i think i fixed it though honestly with smoothing that out and usually um if you have the two pieces that you want to connect kind of close enough uh you can just auto complete it and it'll you can kind of get it to do what you want to do and it'll it'll be pretty smooth Okay. Okay. Why did it do that? Let's see, fear. Or you could replace the coaster with a Giga coaster. Yeah, honestly, <laughs> Giga coasters, they're always saving the day. That's what I used for here, and it only took like 20 minutes. Least amount of problems I've ever had with any ride. Ever. Still exceeds. You know, I, I didn't look over here. This is probably an issue over here. Or let's look at Ford. I haven't looked at Ford yet. Um, where am I? Where are you at? We can put some trim brakes here. This turn is vicious. Breaks here, and then it might be going slow enough to use drive tires instead of trim brakes. Okay. I, just... I don't want. Is there a way? Do you know, Jake? If there's a way to completely replace it without like having to rebuild it, like with the Giga Coaster. Do anything with coasters? That's honest, that's the setting that I've been trying to find. <laughs> I've been trying to find that setting and I can't. Find where it's at. Where's the right at? Like.
all said and done though, honestly, like this park, like I want to put a lot of effort into it and make it look good, but this park is mainly just so I can get used to playing the game. Because this is like the first thing I've really done in the game. I haven't done much. This is my first park. And I think I've done a, a pretty good job so far. Jake, have you seen my indoor coaster yet? Um, it's not completely finished. Like, the building is not completely finished, but, like, I didn't know this part was an issue. It's never been an issue before. That's kind of cool. I like that. I'll leave that. I'll have to put some drive tires there instead of these brakes. The amount of brakes in here is ridiculous. I'm going to remove the brakes leading up to this. No brakes. And no brakes there. That should be good. Here, I don't know if you've seen the indoor coaster I built. So the ride uh, is done. I need to fix some... Well, not fix. I need to change some of the um, props and stuff that I have in here. Uh, the building is almost done. I just need to add some finishing touches. That's why I have this open. Once I completely finish the building, I'll close this area. And I need to put some ceiling into some of this area. But this ride is intended to be rode at night. It's my Ghostbusters ride. So you come up a queue and you get greeted by uh, these Ghostbusters guys that are just waiting for you. These are the idle ones and I'll show you the ones uh, later on. And then there's some more right here. This ride, I'll have it on test and we'll ride it. I'm like, this isn't my favorite coaster, but I'm probably, uh, out of any of my rides, I'm most proud with this one. Oh crap, I forgot to turn it to nighttime. It's okay, I guess. That trigger could probably be a little bit sooner. There's a trigger here that gets activated now, and you can see him. And then this is kind of the end. You kind of see all this crazy commotion going on. I haven't really worked with props and stuff too much, so I'm a little bit lackluster in that area. And this ride, in regards to that, isn't the best. But like the first couple of props, they're really good. This one, I love. Yeah. Let's see, how much time do we have? We have about 30 minutes left. I'm tired of working on this one, so let's work on something else. So we can work on this here. This ride, I pretty much completely fixed all the issues with it. People will ride it and they're excited. Yeah, indoor rides are hard. I didn't really know how to approach it. But I think I did okay. I built the ride first and kept in mind that I was going to be building a building around it. And 
it, it kind of worked out. out. The, the building, building itself worked out. out. Had, had some, what do you, you mean, mean flat rides? rides? Oh, you mean um, um, like, like regular rides? rides? Like, like carnival ride, ride almost? Like, like this? this? Let's, Let's work, work in this area, actually. actually. I, need I need to put, put some, some, especially with the triggers. triggers. Yeah. yeah. We, we can, can do some, some flat rides. rides. I stopped, stopped working, working in this area because I didn't know what I wanted to do here. here. I, I think, think I'm going to move this ride, though, a little bit closer to this, to this path. Because of how far it is, it kind of makes it really difficult for me to do anything. So I'm going to oops, delete this area here. And that'll probably be where I put it. Move. Yes. Right. There. That should help a little bit. And then I can redo this path. Yeah, definitely. I agree. Definitely agree. I'm trying to match. There we go. Okay. All right. So what? This is like the fairy tale area of the park. So we need to figure out what we're gonna do here. Right. We'll look at all of them like this. There's blueprints, that's pretty cool. Okay, so these are our rides. Oh, I have a Dragon Kitty Coaster actually. Here, let me show you. That was literally the first ride I put in the park. It's right here. It's really cute. So I placed it. It came with this little building here. And this was the first building that I edited in the game. I added this section here because it was only right here. And it felt really awkward the way that the path came up. So I put that as a little extension. This is the ride. Um, I don't know where it is, yeah. I changed it, it was like this weird clown thing. I changed it to a dragon. Um, I like this ride though. I wanted to add it because um, growing up, I would go to Six Flags and they have this really fun kind of dragon ride like this. It's pretty much exactly like this, um, other than the castle thing. It does this thing. And then I added these rocks here for some scenery and then I put a sleeping dragon here. I think I called the ride Sleeping Dragon. Yeah. Cute little ride. Which Six Flags? Uh, the one in, it's called Six Flags Fiesta, Texas. It's in San Antonio. All right, so let's see. I want to do one of these tall rides like this. But I don't want to do it in here. I want to do it kind of over here. So that when you are over here, you can kind of see how tall it is and stuff. Oh, yeah. Ooh, you know what would be really cool? Maybe we can put this in the center of the park here. Like right here? We just got to flatten it or something. That would be really cool. Let's do that. I love the center of the park. This is the center of the park that I made. It's really nice. I need to add a fence and stuff to it, but we can probably do that really soon. Let me, I don't want the intensity too high. I just want it to be flat enough to put that on there. Can we do it? Almost, still. A little bit too round. Okay. Put 
the tallest one in the center. Which one is the tallest? Is this the top? This I don't think this is the tallest, but I think we can um, make it taller, can't we? Let's see. I guess we can't. I know in uh, Roller Coaster Tycoon we can make it taller. Is it this one? Ascendance? What is that? What in the world is that? Oh, yes. Okay, so you can't do that in Planet Coaster. Skywatcher? Is that what it is? Oh, we can't put that in the center, unfortunately. But we could probably put it like right here. I think this is the tallest one. It looks pretty tall. Hmm. I'm trying to think, like aesthetically, the one next to the radius guard. Or an alphabetical QRS. Radius. Are you, you talking about, about Rising Raptor, Raptor or the Screaminator? N1 Lurge. <laughs> I don't know how to say your name. I'm sorry. I appreciate the follow very much. Uh, are you talking about the Screaminator? Nice park. Wish, Wish I could make parks like this. Thank, Thank you so, so much. much. Really appreciate it. Uh, I think it's because I'm the one who made it that I think it could be a lot better. Uh, there's a few things that I really like, but there's a few things that I don't like. But the one thing that I do really like is our mountains in the back. Screaminator. Okay. That one's not as tall, actually, as Skywatcher. Here, let's compare. Uh, right. Screaminator. Okay. So this is a Screaminator. Um, it might be tall enough. I don't think we really need anything taller than that. Um, it just depends on what you think. Skywatcher ain't a drop tower. Okay. Yeah, you're right. Let's do this and we'll put this one um we will have to figure out something to do with the terrain so we can make it look really good we'll probably place it here delete this and let's work on it what, what colors, colors are you thinking for it? For it? I, like I like the rainbow for it. Um, we can probably leave, leave it if you want to. to. I don't know. Whatever, Whatever you're, you're thinking. thinking. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, definitely. And I don't know. OK, so, so we'll put the entrance here. And then we'll put the exit there, and we'll connect it. Let's do that red really blends in. That looks really nice. We'll do this. And then for the path, we'll do this. And then we can do some kind of scenery stuff here. Let's see. Alrighty. This is not what we want. Nature. Uh, we could probably put like a tree or something here. Uh, we'll put some taller stuff right here, and then uh, not some not too tall, 
just something like a smaller tree. Like, this might be too tall. We could probably put it right there. Um, and then we'll do some bushes or something. If we can find any. Oh, no, not that. We want something with... Uh, I don't really like how dead that looks. What is in here? Mountain area? Oh, okay. I haven't put much in my mountain area yet. Um, this is supposed to be the spooky area of the park. It's like wintry. Um, this is a witch. She's pretty much the only thing here other than these trees, which I will end up eventually extending out there. This is my Ghostbusters ride. It's an indoor coaster that I haven't finished yet. These need to be deleted. Um, other than that, that's pretty much it. There's nothing over here. That's just, I use that as a marker for the end of the lot. And then I made this based off of a real life landmark. I'm not sure what it's called, but I really like it. And then this is kind of my volcano area. Amazing Jake, you were here for uh, that. Nothing is here though. I haven't put anything other than that coaster. Those are just markers. Can you play Among Us in like 30 minutes? Um, let me think. In 30 minutes, I need to get off for work. Let's see. Actually, you know what? I can probably, I could probably play Among Us in 30 minutes. Um, but I can only play for like 10, 15 minutes for like one or two games, so that's okay with you. We can definitely do that. Let's try find a bush. That'll work. I don't hate it. Uncle Ruckus! Love the name. Appreciate the follow. Thank you so much. put these bushes as kind of an outline for this fence. Let's do this and shorten it just a little bit. Probably put this one here. But yeah, let me know if that works for you. Um, I will only be able to play for one or two games because I have to go to work, unfortunately. If I could not go to work, I would not go to work. <laughs> uh, okay, and we're going to put a park or bench here. Yeah, we'll put a whole park in this little area. <laughs> we'll do one here and one here, and then let's see. Where are the trash cans? Maybe this, maybe that. Those look good. Maybe a statue or something over here would work. Okay, let's see here. I need to grab, where is it? Some of these, are those them? I don't think so. Grab some of these, yeah, that is what they are. Okay, these are like what I use to um, fill out the areas. I lower it a little bit and then go crazy. It looks really good. And then we can kind of line the sidewalk with some um, flowers. I gotta go. If you want me to do some kind of coaster for you, then go vote for it on my channel. Oh, cool. Yeah, I'll definitely go vote for it for you. And I'll follow you. Didn't realize I wasn't following you. Or, well, I didn't realize you made 
you just streamed, but I will follow you. Let's see here. Okay. And then, where are the flowers? Bushes, not planters. Why aren't flowers in in the nature thing? They are in the nature. I'm just silly. These are the smaller ones. I don't want something too small. Ooh, I like that. I don't know about the color. Oop, something I've got to do. Open that. Let's fix this color. Maybe some blue. Those, those look, look really weird. weird. Is, Is it just me? Or do those look really weird? Yeah. That looks really weird. These are cool. I kind of like that. So... <laughs> uh, on, on your, your channel, channel, how do I vote for it? I haven't seen... Let, Let me go, go to your channel, channel right now. And I'll follow, follow you. Let me see here. There you are. Okay, I followed you. Where, Where is the vote? vote? Oh, oh, on YouTube? YouTube? Chat. Chat. Is it just, just on, on YouTube, YouTube or, or I can just write, write it in the chat, chat what game I want, I want you to play? And, and you said, said vote for Planet, Planet Coaster? Coaster? I decided on these flowers because they're kind of uh, rainbow-y and, and this ride has kind of like a rainbow theme. theme. That looks, that looks pretty, pretty good. good. Wouldn't say it's my favorite. I did close the park, but I'll open it back up for now. On your latest video. On YouTube? Okay. Let me go there now. YouTube. Amazing Jake. 34. There you are. There we go. And vote for next series. Okay, there we go. Am I going too low? Oh, that sucks. I can't, I can't believe... believe... So, so I used to YouTube <laughs> a lot more, uh, but I don't do it anymore. So I didn't know that you had to do that. 
That sucks that you have to get that many subscribers just to do a community poll. Most places like Twitch and Facebook kind of just let you do it whenever you want. This is lacking something. Let me, I think I have an idea. We'll put like a rock display thing here. Let's see what the hell these look. This looks pretty good. You can get a bigger, bigger one. We can kind of make it bigger. Like that. Yeah, that's a good point. Where is... This thing is making some weird noises. Let's find the... Is it in building? Or is it in here? There's screens. Maybe props. Signs and advertising. We could put something like this, maybe? I don't hate it. It doesn't look like it goes with the theme for this ride, though. Man, I wish they had more archway stuff like that. I could probably make my own archway and put one there. Oh yeah, and then we need to probably rename that. Here's a thing that's specifically archways. Ooh. How about you? Okay. So I don't know about this. We can probably lower it a little bit. Like like that. I kind of like that. And can we change the color? We cannot. Look up Screaminator in the scenery search bar. Scenery. Scream. Yeah. I'm not seeing it. That's okay, though. I kind of like this. Let's look at this. Opening screen drop. Where did it go? Prompt signs. And then we can do... I don't know if this is right. There's more over here. Wall signs. Right signs. And we're seeing if the screaminator is in here. There it is. Okay, so this is the screaminator thing. We could put it right here. I will advance move it so that we can put it in the right spot. Angle snap. Okay. It's definitely being weird. I kind of like that. Okay. I kind of like this. Maybe put it up a little bit and then back like that. It's kind of janky, but with the writing, uh, I don't think so. Let me look at all screen. Okay, we gotta spell screen, right? This is the only one. Yeah, it's okay. I like this though.
the, the weird, weird thing, thing though I just noticed, not sure if anybody else has noticed this, um, the sign has top teeth on top and on bottom. So that's kind of weird. Or I can put that the custom sign. Yeah. Let's try to see if there's a custom sign. Continue. Miscellaneous signs. Okay. Which one are we thinking? This one's kind of cool. It's kind of rainbowish, like the other one is. I mean, like the ride is. Comic guy, appreciate the follow. Thank you so much. Let's do this, and then we can advance move it. I really like this one. Hello? Um, trying to move it. Angle snap. Is that straight up and down? Yes. And then we will do this. Kind of want to go like that a little bit. And then we'll move it. Maybe we can go. Angle needs to be a little bit different. Like, like that. that. Do, Do I get Oswald's, Oswald's Magnificent Machine or Planko console for PS4 disc if I pre ordered it from USA Amazon? Honestly, I have no idea. Uh, I'm playing on PC, obviously, since the console versions don't come out until a little bit later this month. Um, so, so I don't know. I haven't really looked into the uh, console version at all, really. But if that ends up not being the case, um, I'm not sure about any of those questions. <laughs> um, but yeah, if that ends up being the case where you don't get any of that, um, Right, right now, now, at least, there is a sale for the DLC pack. Uh, it's a really, really good sale. I bought it. And let's see. Oh. We can't write on this, but it's okay. I kind of like it. Oh, wait. Can we write on it? Or no, it won't write anything. That's okay. Some are coming soon, like Xbox and Mac. Okay. All right. So that's that. That looks pretty good. Um, maybe we can start doing some scenery stuff for over here too. There's a shop area right here that I built, which I think I need to do a little bit of some dangling with. It looks pretty okay. Um, I built that all from scratch, kind of inspired by this one that is in the game already. I think what we could do is put some trees down around this area and they'll probably help make it look a lot better. So let's try to do that. All right, trees, tall trees like these. Hmm. Not that. All right, Jake. Thank you so much, Jake, for coming and watching. Uh, I will definitely see you soon. 
and I will leave a comment to vote. You wanted me to vote for Planet Coaster, right? I will do that. Because I, I want to see you play. I want to see what kind of stuff you're going to do. And don't be afraid to take any ideas from me. Not that I have, like, crazy ideas. Maybe some autumn trees. I kind of wanted some really tall ones. That. So tall. Right there. All right. And I'm about to play Among Us for about a round or two, depending on how it goes before I get off. So if anybody in the chat wants to play, uh, let me know, because you will definitely be able to play. Um, and obviously, since you're watching, you will be able to see the name of the, what's it called? The room. So what time is it? Let's go ahead and do that now, actually. I'm gonna save and we'll play some Among Us. No, no cheating, though. You can't cheat. cheat. I'm, I'm streaming, so you can't, can't cheat. All right, so let's go ahead and quit. I'll stop recording.